Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So for today's video is my top 10 favourite breeds of 2023. I cannot believe we're already filming this video. Gets me a little bit, but it's already that time of year to be dashing out these kind of videos. But we're going to do it. But I also thought we would start with some honourable mentions because, you know what, picking my top 10 favourite breeds this year was actually extremely hard. Like, I mean extremely difficult to pick these top 10 favourite reads because I have read so many good books this year and not even necessarily all of them are five stars, but, like, I've read so many good ones that it's, like, was very hard. Um, and I'm having some good series as well. So, yeah, we're going to get into it. We're going to start with the honourable mentions. Now, I have a few picked out here, just to honourably mention, but I'm not going to go too deep into them. I'm just going to quickly eye through them. We have... Alicia Pack, The Island of Missing Trees. Highly recommend picking up. Some Shall Break by Ellie Marnie. This is the second book. By the way, I'm not counting any rereads, obviously, and the first book in the series was a reread. So this is the second book in the series. House of Earth and Blood by Sergio Mass. This is the first book in the Crescent City series. We have uh, Court of Thorns and Ruins. A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of, Court of Frost and Starlight, and A Court of Silver Flames. This is obviously the Akhtar series, minus one. Don't panic. Um, Things We Hide from the Light by Lucy Score. Obviously, if you guys know, if you've seen my vlogs, you know, Crazy Love. Uh, Buy a Thread by Lucy Score. Um, we have the First two books in the Chestnut Spring series. I've recently started reading the series and have absolutely fallen in love. So I, I recommend picking up you guys with Small Town Romance and Cowboys and Grumpy Single Dads. I recommend Hobby Players too. They've got it all. Chestnut Springs has it all, guys. Um, from Luke Off with Love by Mariana Zapata. We have Shallow River by H.D. Carlton and Does It Hurt by H.D. Carlton. You guys know. I love HD Carlton. We know this by now. Um, and then we have Once Upon a Broken Heart, Ballad and Never After, and A Curse of True Love by Stephanie Garber. We also have ones that I don't have the school copies of, which is God of Fury, which I'm actually still technically currently reading, but it's already, I'm not even halfway through the book and it's already got to be in one of my faves. Um, and The Annihilator by Runix which is the fifth book in the Dark Verse series. Um, so yeah, that is it for my honourable mentions. We're going to move swiftly on to my top 10. So time for our top 10. Now, I do want to remind you guys, that I did, like I said, this was really, really tough to pick my top 10. Um, but I've tried, like, there's a bit of a mixture here. Um, but I know that a lot of you guys will probably be expecting quite some of these books. Due to things that I've said <laughs> over a long, long period of time. Um, but yeah, so we are going to get started. Um, so first up at number 10 is Pack Up the Moon by Christina Higgins. Now I've read this for the video reading sad books for a week, so you guys can check that if you want all my full opinions and thoughts. Um, this was a five-star read for me. I sobbed, I cried. I was emotional and it's such a good book and it's so very um heartbreaking but heartwarming as well if that makes sense it's very hard to explain but yeah number 10 is Chris Higgins back up the moon um I want to keep this kind of fairly short-ish I don't want to like bore you guys by going into too much detail especially about books that I've already read so <laughs> just yeah um number nine we have powerless by elsie silver this is the third book in the Chris, um chestnut spring series i have not read the other two yet but they will probably doubt with certainly be read before the end of the year um but yeah so this one is jasper and sloan story oh my god i drew a blank then it's jasper and sloan story um i absolutely freaking love this book um this is one of my most recent reads and just to see their story 
develop and grow is crazy this is a 4.75 for me I know almost there but yeah absolutely adored this book so highly highly recommend picking up the US summit already um number eight is things we left behind by Lucy Scott now this is Lucian and Sloane's story he's Sloane's in that <laughs> didn't even realize that until I was saying it um yeah this is Lucian and Sloane's story this is the last book in the Knockmount series this is the book we've everyone has been waiting for and I've given it five stars I absolutely freaking loved it and now I know a lot of people were very disappointed by this book but I absolutely fucking adored it um you guys were probably with me as I was reading it especially if you guys were in one of my room sprints um back in about summertime yeah I cried <laughs> a lot um you can see my tabs I yeah freaking loved and adored this book and highly highly recommend picking up the series if you guys haven't it's small town again um their relationship is alluded to throughout the first two books and we finally get to see the big blow up and what happened between them so yeah highly highly recommend picking up number seven is happy place by emily henry um i freaking love this book if you want a book that embodies life this is the book. This book to me just embodies fucking life. I read it during, I believe, reading summer books for a week video. Um, these videos I mentioned, I will try and link them, guys. But yeah, I read it. Then I was so emotional. I was so like heartbroken, but like so much love as well at the same time. Um, but yeah, like what they were going through and some of the situations were just, yeah. Highly, highly recommend picking up Happy Place if you guys haven't yet already. It's good. So in at number six, we have The Wall of Wind Epitome. This is a five-star rating for me. Loved it. Loved it. Mariana Scott's writing. I didn't like Aiden to begin with, but we grew. He grew on me. We, we, we fell in love with each other by the end of it, you know, how it goes. Um, but yeah, I literally absolutely devoured this book in the space of two days. And it's a chunk, okay, guys. This is a slow band, slow band, slow burn romance. Um, this is it's American football, Nessa and Aiden, their relationship, the just the tension between them is so strong. And like to watch Aiden come out of his shell and this whole character build for him, it was yeah. I highly recommend picking up this book if you haven't already. Um and in at number five, guys, we are now halfway through, is Blood Orange by Karina Hale. I freaking love this one. So I originally read this on Kindle. Um, it's a 4.25 for me, but I loved it. It's vampires, it's a lot of history, it's witches. It's this whole story that literally spans hundreds and hundreds of years. Like, this story, like, spans a long time. Now, if you've read it, you're going to know what I mean by it. But yeah, I recommend checking this one. I highly recommend checking out Karina Hell anyway. Or Hallie Hell. I can't know. It's, it's like Hallie Hell. It's just check her out, guys, because she's amazing. Okay. And I love her books. I love her books. No end. Like all of them. This is the first book in the duet. Um, What is the name of the duet? This one. What's the name of the, uh, the Dracula duet. That was it. This is the first book in the Dracula duet. Um, and there's just so much tension between these characters that just built, built, and built. And the moment it like snapped, we were there. We were there. There is spice, guys. That definitely check out trigger warnings. Um, yeah, it is nice. Does the one in the beginning of this book? Um, yeah. So please check out the trigger warnings. Um, there is a whole thing of it in the book as well but yeah do check out the trigger warnings for this one please um then now in at number four we have house of sky and breath this was a five star book this is the second book in crescent city series it's the chunker what do i need to say about this book just what what needs to be said that fucking ending excuse me miss sergio mass we do not do endings like that okay we do not appreciate them so i'm very much need the third book so i need to find out what the fuck happened 
Um, but I will be doing a reread of this as well, leading up to the third book. I'm currently reading Throne of Glass. Then we're going to reread Akita. And then we're rereading Husband's Club Breath. So that's the plan. Me and Maura are doing it all together. So yeah, that is what's happening. But I don't really know what you want me to say about this book. This is the second book of the second book. So I can't really say anything about giving any spoilers away. But yeah, just the characters, the, the whole plot line, like I said, that fucking ending, just. That's all I think. That's what they said. We're moving on. Third book. Number three. We are now into our top three of my favourites of 2023. And well, of course, it had to be A Court of Wings and Ruins by Sarah Dumas. This is my five star book from the series. This, I believe, is my only five star book from the series. I don't recall giving any other five books five stars. I will check my facts for you guys. Let me check my facts. Um, let me check the facts. No, so from the series, this is it. This is there was four point seven fives with a quarter of Mr. Fury and Silver Flames, but this is the only five star books in that series for me. This for me is, I think, what Mr. Fury was to a lot of other people that read the series. I love this series. I fell in love with this book and the storyline within this book and just the constant building of the characters' relationships and the plot and everything was just... This is the third book, so I really can't say much else without spoiling it, but I know that a lot of people would have read the series, so... And I'm safe. <laughs> but just, yeah, this is... I can't... I can't explain. I cannot explain, okay? It cannot be done. Um, now in at number two, I don't own a physical copy of this book, okay? So I can't show you other than on here, a little picture. Um, that is The Emperor by Renix. This is the third book in the Dark Verse series. Dante and Amara story, okay? And that story is just heart breakingly perfect if that sounds really bad I apologize but it is heartbreakingly perfect because you watch them grow from childhood um this whole series you follow different characters in each book the first two are Tristan and Marana's this is Dante and Amara's um so you kind of have this alluded to again relationship this storyline is following kind of along the same base storyline but in this one you really kind of go back to like I said to the childhood watch them grow and then you meet back up to where they are within the main storyline um and yeah it's just what those two have been through to get to where they were at about the halfway point in the story roughly a bit before to then get to where they are were at the end of the story as well with what they went through again during that period is just I I have no words for it. You guys seriously need to check out the series. You need to check out Runix because it yeah, I I just can't say anything else. Okay, it cannot be done. It cannot be fucking done. Just you need to check it out. Um so yeah. We're gonna go into number one. Now I kind of cheated with number one. <laughs> Number one is two books because it's a duet and I, I had to put the two books together, okay? And I'm sure you guys can guess what it is. I'm sure you guys already know. If you haven't, I'll give you guys a few minutes to put in the comments what you think it is because, yeah, um, while you guys are guessing, um, I will say again, like I said, this has been really tough. If I could, I would put all of my favourites at number one, but there's just so many and I was very strict on myself and really, really thought, and really really thought about the books and right right where are these going to go in this top 10 rating and this is where we were at now i've given you guys your moments to take a guess um and if you have guessed correctly it is in fact haunting and hunting adeline <laughs> and my top what, number one it's a duet they count as one so this is the first book is haunting line second book is hunting adeline I can't help it, okay? I love Seed Meadows. I can't help it. Seed will al always, always own my heart. From the moment I picked up this first book, 
they'd been on my PBR for a long time. I'd wanted to read them for so, so long. And then more read it. And she said how much she loved it. And that was that. I was like, these need to be upped on my TBR. These need to be moved to the top. And I need to read them now, which is what I did. And I don't want to look back. <laughs> I will definitely be rereading these at some point in 2024. I don't care. They will be reread again at some point in 2024 because I absolutely died for these books. I would die for these books. To be able to read these guys for the first time again, I would do anything, absolutely anything for them. Just the development, the storyline, just these characters and the emotional depth to some of them and like just what they go through, what Adeline goes through in this book for the first half of this book oh my fucking god check the fuck out trigger warnings guys do check the fuck out trigger warnings but what she goes through in the first half of this book it is heartbreaking to see because you've gone you've grown with her through this book you've gone with her through this first book so you already have this connection to her and you love her so much and you get to the first half of this book and you have to watch her go through that it's heartbreaking and to see and then Mr Zade Meadows comes in don't get me wrong our Adeline she's one strong ass bitch okay she's one strong ass bitch 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 and then our Zade comes back in again and it's just it makes it all right again it, it, everything's okay again but just guys check the trigger warnings if you can and you can read these books please please do because highly highly fucking recommended okay highly recommended um but yeah that is my top 10 favorite reads of 2023 yes i cheated and technically there's 11 but shh, nobody else needs to know nobody else needs to know so it's fine but yeah let me know if there's any books on here that you've already read and what your thoughts of them were and if there's anyone here that you now want to pick up and read, do let me know. And do let me know your thoughts as well once you've read them. And yeah, I'm going to leave you guys there on that note with me giddily smiling at all these books. Again, let me know what your favourite book of 2023 was as well. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to keep smiling, be kind, keep reading. Bye guys. Wake up, today's going to be a good day.